Welcome to Miami, 47. The innovation race is on its last day, and it is down to the wire. Thousands of eager fans are gathered for the final laps of this unexpectedly close race. Sierra Knox is expertly piloting her red Kronstadt car. Her father, Robert Knox, roams the nearby Expo building where Kronstadt is showcasing its new prototype car. The Kronstadt RK Mark III has seen fierce competition from the Chinese Kowloon Heavy Industries' new racer. Moses Lee, CEO of Kowloon, has taken a dominant lead and looks invincible. Sierra Knox will need to risk it all if she wants to win for the third year in a row. The stakes are as high as they can get. Repeat some ground rules for those of you new to endurance. You gotta cover as much ground as possible within the time frame. When the time's up, we have our winner. For all you race buffs out there, I can tell you that the winner will really again be presented with champagne on the podium after a few years of regular sparkling wine. That is real champagne. Eastern region of France. Fun fact of the day for you. Remember, folks, that endurance racing is all about 
getting your car to cover as many miles as possible, no matter how burned out, beat up it may be. Hey, you seen Ramon? Don't no? Forget uh, probably sleeping in a closet somewhere. <laughs> Just repeat some ground rules for those of you new to the nerd. You gotta cover as much ground as Judging by the state of the car when they broke it back in. I heard a couple of the guys talking earlier. They said the car was behaving erratically that last lap before the accident. You think anyone, you know, helped make the accident happen? Wouldn't be the first time during this race. Remember two years ago when that driver from... Mush? Someone had messed with the car. That's exactly what I was thinking. Even with the added security? One of my guys just jumped you. You're the junior slip wrench who got injured yesterday, right? Suppose. 
because I am. Great. This is your lucky day. Do well and there's a bonus in it. Got it? Got it. All right, everyone. Look alive and get to your stations. Sierra may come in for a last-minute pit stop, and I need you ready and able. You, rookie, get into position. Grab your... Sierra's coming in. Everyone on your stations, now! Down. Next up, Robert Knox. What the hell just happened? Sierra! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Mr. Mack? It's Grace Miller in the Kronstadt pit. Are you watching the feed? It's Sierra. There was... A, a crash. It looks bad. Real bad. We can't see her vital. Look out for the fireworks. Moses Lee will take the podium in a few moments. Make sure you have a great view of the celebrations for the stands. Yeah. But I still can't believe it. It's just so... Ronstadt Industries wishes you and your family a wonderful day of the races. Celebration, just not quite there yet. Let's get those Magnum Don Perignon bottles lined up. I remember a few stories from back in the day. I can't go into detail, but those celebrations would sometimes last three days. Today, the drivers were so disappointed. I'm here now, ready to meet up with Sierra Knox over at the hotel. Yeah, after the race.
I'll do this kind Find some keys over there. Oh man, you're a real lifesaver. Thank you. Hey, we're good. Apparently, Knox wants to do a large scale field test of Palace in a few months. down by the water is driving you nuts with hunger? No, no, that wasn't it. I was thinking about what might actually happen. The reply back is being positive. That's insane. If that's true, why would Knox risk another test after the, the Tongan Valley Massacre? Well, from what I understand, Jinpo is pretty lax with his import taxes and has a lot of money in the bank. Anyone know this man? What's his problem? Is in any way connected to the recent string of anti-corporate assassins? So I just transferred from Metro to Tech. Figured I'd try out a new beat. Hello, HR? Yes, it's Finn Wheeler down at the Bayside Center. I realize this may sound trivial, but the Fountain View soda dispenser has been on the fritz. Hang on, 47. Robert Knox's calendar shows a meeting with a Ted Mendez, a defense funding consultant with the US military. It must be related to that robot. Maybe you can find Mendez somewhere. Ted Mendez, a defense funding consultant with the US military.
tacos they're selling down by the water is driving you nuts with hunger? No, no, that wasn't it. I was thinking about what might happen. Start fire test at will. Target acquired. WB. Excellent, Palace. Test completed successfully. I'd invite you out for a beer to celebrate, but I guess that might be a security risk. <laughs> Not to mention creepy. Collecting pictures of celebrity entrepreneurs now, 47? Hmm. What are you thinking? Uh, what's up, Doc? Level of personal stealth technology that is Robert Knox, genius inventor, black market's weapons dealer, and Providence defector. Still some of my Rock finest work. When you get time, can you explain the string theory to me? Yo, Doc, wait a minute. Doctor. Okay, McKinnis, let's run this test. I'm sure you take it all out. Oh, shit. What the hell? Both targets down. Well done, 47. Head for an exit, and we'll speak again soon. How are you, Doctor?
Berlin. Shanghai. Montreal. We're bleeding operatives. Panic is spreading, and now we are axing our own? Knox was a traitor. He would have caused incalculable damage. And he won't be the last. This is exactly what the enemy wants. We need to fight the sickness, not the symptom. And I have just the tool for the job. Right. The Burnwood woman. Eric Soders warned you about her, didn't he? The Crusader. I can handle Miss Burnwood. Everyone hates power until you offer them some. And you ought to know. ICA speaks the enemy's language. We need them. And once we don't, <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Fact remains, we are shadowboxing. We need to know who we are up against. I was getting to that. His name is Lucas Gray, the late Mr. Cobb's head of security. Cobb was ground zero, first of our operatives to die. It had to be one of his staff, someone with military training and access to the plane. Yeah, grasping at straws. Gray is a mercenary, a veteran of every backwater tragedy you've ever ignored on the five o'clock news. Chechnya, Sierra Leone, the list goes on, but before 89, nothing. No records of any kind. Now, oh, come on. CIA, KGB, plenty of spies went dark. After the curtain was lifted, I cast a very wide net. Lucas Gray simply does not exist. <clears throat> if you're all quite done wetting yourselves with excitement, I couldn't give two shits where he came from. I only want to know one thing. How does he know about us? I swear to God, this hearts and flowers crap will get us both killed. Can't you see? Your so-called friend is working for them now. He's not the man you knew. This is his fight too, Olivia. Even if he doesn't realize it. Like it or not, 47 is our last and only lead on the partners. He needs to remember. He's coming for us. And unlike you, he won't hesitate. Just get me inside. Rico, I need a favor. 